Miami heads to Clemson, and this one is interesting. Um, if only because Clemson or Miami actually got back on track a little bit when they went over Georgia Tech last week. Now, some of that had to do with the Georgia Tech quarterback, but regardless, Clemson is a, let's see, 19.5-point favorite, latest number at Bet US. It's 3.30 p.m. Eastern time on ESPN. Let's go and pull up that number here. And, of course, the numbers, like the advanced analytics, have loved Miami all year. Uh, and it's partially because you can't really predict turnovers, right? You can't really bake it into a number, so it doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Uh, it trends here, it, Miami is 1-6 and six against the spread of their last seven against Clemson. Uh, you look at Miami just overall, 1-5 and five against the spread in their last six conference games. Of course, that one was last week against Georgia Tech. They're 1-8 and eight against the spread in their last nine games overall. Definitely not good. Uh, you look at Clemson, 8-2 um, and two against the spread in the last 10 conference games. They are 8-3 and three against the spread in their last 11 in November. This is when they kind of ramp up, and they you, you start maybe going, okay, like a, maybe, maybe a playoff team, maybe. Uh, you know, we'll have to see. You look at Clemson's numbers on offense over the past five weeks, and they cannot throw the ball. But part of that issue is that they are not throwing it very often. 40% of the time, they're number 109 in pass rate in the country over the past five weeks. They are number 125 in PPA per pass. They are number 108 in passing success rate. Number 124 in passing explosiveness. So all of that is stuff that, you know, Miami is pretty good at. Uh, They're number 15 in PPA per pass allowed. Number 26 in passing success rate allowed. You look at the rushing rate, and yeah, Clemson running the ball nearly 60% of the time. They are number seventy-one in PPA per rush, so you're not you're not getting a punt, like a ton of points from them. Rushing success rate is number twenty-three for Miami. It's number seventy-seven on defense. Uh, rushing explosiveness, you don't have a ton of explosiveness coming from Clemson right now, but you know you look at something interesting like stuff rate, where you can actually get you know a stop behind the line of scrimmage, etc. Uh, yeah, Miami number thirty-nine on defense in rushing stuff rate uh, allowed, and. For excuse me, on Clemson, it's a uh, it's number fourteen in stuff rate allowed. For Miami's defense, it's number thirty nine in stuff rate. So, you know, standard downs, eh? We'll we'll see what ends up happening there. Uh, as far as Miami's offense, not great at throwing the ball, not great at running the ball. But if you just look overall, like they're number eighty in offensive PPA per drive, and Clemson's defense is number fifty seven in defensive PPA per drive. Clemson's offense number one fourteen in PPA per drive. Miami's defense has actually been number 31 in PPA per drive over the last five weeks. My number has it, Clemson, minus 11.75. Like, give me give me Miami to cover the 19 and a half. Like, I, I, I think that there is a world where Miami actually doesn't turn the ball over, and I don't care if Tyler Van Dyke's playing, whatever. I you're, Clemson's not going to throw on Miami because they just don't do it. Like, I just don't see a world where they try and do that um, because I, I think that, I, that I think that's the weakness, even though the numbers look pretty good. I think that's the weakness of Miami's team is that secondary. I, I just don't think that they got the dudes there right now. But I don't think they're going to they're gonna try and do that. And if they do try and run the ball, I mean, you're talking about running clock, et cetera. You're talking about uh, 19 and a half, and it's a, a pretty low point total, uh, which I didn't write down, but regardless. Um Let's see if I can find a, a point total on this because I think I think if I look at this, it'll be in like the, the low 40s. Yeah, 46 and a half. All right, so you're talking about three touchdown spread with about 46 points. Yeah, give me Miami. Nobody wants to bet on Miami, right? But I, I, will, I will take the Hurricanes to cover 19 and a half. I still think Clemson wins the game, obviously. But, yeah, I, I think Miami can cover this. Uh, this line might be a little bit inflated because it's at Clemson. Right? Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.